This video is just going to go over the different types of gearing and the different ways that you can gear. There's a variety of different gear. There's the white gear that you start out with and while you do the quest it will give you green gear then later on it gives you the blue gear and that's how the tiers are and then after that there's the gold. To get your first piece of gold equipment, I think it's like a level 36 or 37 quest. It's one of these practice and growth quests. It will take you to one of these NPCs here in Sulan. And it will ask for the... I don't have any right now. But it will ask you for Hermite... Hermite Hermdite? I don't know how to pronounce it. But yeah, that's... After you get that, which it drops from Scour Dungeon bosses, which those are... These, your monster slain. The bosses drop the. It's this that I'm mousing over now. And they drop from the bosses in there. You can also get them from savaging, salvaging gear, which to do that, you go to this hammer right here and you just go at it. And you can get. You have a chance of getting that, otherwise, you just get glyph the notes. That's also an easy way to make room in your inventory during dungeons. But besides that, until you get to Darkfall, you just use whatever you get from questing. After that, you do the Darkfall dungeon and it will drop purples. You get the purples. And that's do not buy the purple gear from these NPCs. I don't remember all of them that have it, but like this gear, don't buy it. There's no point. You're going to waste your Demon Slayer points or your whatever NPC you go to points. It's just not worth it. And then you come to the yellow gear. The yellow gear, there's a variety of ways to get. You can also buy yellow gear from these NPCs. I think it starts at like the 50s. I'm not sure how well that is compared to the other ways, if so most people just don't do it. Then you have this, which some people call synthesis, and this just says combination. And this is that first weapon, this is what it will show you. It should give you this stuff, except for these. These are the only thing that you should have to get, the rest of it they give you. And like it, you can see it costs various mats and there's various different ways to get it like the silver stones you use in place of the weapon if you make say your first weapon and then you want to make the second weapon you can use this method which takes the original weapon and it takes the refinement like you see mine's plus nine my original one was plus eight and it went over to plus eight when I created the transpel. I don't know if the tiers stay or not. If they do, then you want to open that, but I'll get into that later. And then, then there's two different tiers on the gear. Like you can see, my weapon is tier nine. That's level 49 tier 10 that's level 49 and then you have the 40 stuff is tier 10 then you have the tier 11 which is the 50 stuff and you can get some purples that are better than some of the yellows but if you upgrade them it shouldn't really be better for jewelry you can get your first set of jewelry from the scour dungeons the second or you can craft it. Second set goes from other 
I think you can get it in the higher level of Scour Dungeon, but I haven't really upgraded my stuff to the 50 stuff. This is just purple that I got from the quest line and from different dungeons. This is crafted. And like you can see, you can plus the crafted stuff or the jewelry as well and not just the regular. The This badge is from the quest line. And then this is a uh, amulet. It is also... You don't get it through the quest line, but you get it through farming or getting certain points and stuff. I haven't really messed with that stuff. The other way to get the gear is to craft it, which to craft is the same way regardless of what level it is. It's the same mats, or you need different level mats, but it's basically the same. Like this here. You need these mats, and then you need the higher level mats, and then you need higher level mats. So this part is the same. You can buy these right here, these crafting instructions. You can just buy those. You can buy them from a different player, you, or you can do the quest line for them. You get whatever level you are recipe. So if you're in the level 40 to 49 range and you'll get level 40 recipes. If you're in the 50 to 59 then you get the ones that I just showed you which are 59. It does not automatically give you your gear, like your class's gear. So it's RNG that way so some people will just buy them. To get the quest that gives them is this NPC right here. I've already done it so I can't show it to you. But it's a hundred. It's a hundred and twenty quest, and it's a weekly. So you can do it once a week. Every forty quest, it gives you. Well, in the forty to forty-nine, it gives you a recipe. At the fifty to fifty-nine, the first forty give you. I think it's two treasure maps, and then the next two forties give you a box that can give you a random recipe. And then you can just right click these recipes to see where you need to go. But you have to craft other things. It's more than just this. And this is where the crafting comes in. This is why people call this the crafting and not the other. You have to make these billets depending on what level you're making. So for the 50s it would be the common, for the 40s it's the basics and so on and so forth. And you have to make... See, here, I'll just show you. So say you want to make a weapon. You need the instructions, which is the blueprint. This, and then this one with a formulation. Plus you need physique, intel, and githel. There's three different ways to craft. There's normal, fine, and exquisite. I'm not really sure where to get all this stuff these things. I'm guessing they're sold at various places but I haven't really looked fully into that since this was broken until this closed beta and I haven't had much time in this closed beta. And you can see what the different levels need. I mean you need the same three things just at different levels. So the, for the 40 you get the green, for the 50 you get the blue, that type of deal. And this stuff is supposed to, it, like you can see there's RNG, a little bit of RNG on it since it doesn't actually give you like that range. I'll show you here, this is, I crafted this. Like you see these are absolute stats, it's not a range of stats. But yet if you go here and you go to the gloves. It gives you a range of what you can get. And the higher you go in crafting the high, the lower part that you can get goes higher. So if you craft the exquisite it might have higher stats. And it can have higher stats than this gear over here that you combine if you look at gloves, where granted I've done a bit more on my gloves, but these are the same level gloves. I've 
increased them a bit, so it's not really a nice comparison. But you can see they both have the three blue and then the one purple. And they have the three white. It's not... It's just that those stats can be higher if you craft it. And sometimes it can be easier because you don't have to find dungeon parties. You don't have to go look for the dungeons. You just have to craft the stuff. And you can buy these formulations and the billets. You don't have to go to through all this length and get it yourself. If you have enough Githel, you can just buy it. And that's if people are selling it, of course. And you need various things, like these two here. These are mats that you get for gathering stuff. These two are from various merchants, like faction merchants. So you buy these at faction merchants or you can buy them at the wholesale material sellers for a bit higher price. So it does cost quite a bit. But if that's if you don't want to do dungeons, if you don't want to mess with people, then that's one of the ways to do it. You can get gear from these in, these battle NPCs. Or Imperial Society, you can get gear. And it takes these army coins. I don't know how this compares to the level 50 stuff that you can get normally. So I'm not really sure PvP wise if these would be better. I would assume not. Just because I don't see many people doing this or maybe it's just that you have to do so much PvPing for them that it's just easier to get the others. Since these things, since most of the PvP stuff is you have your gear and it's based off your gear like they don't give you normal gear or anything. It might just be that it's better to gear up and then go after this stuff. I don't really know about that part. But yeah, those are the different ways that you can get gear in this game. Now, whether which one you want to do, that is up to you. I haven't seen like a huge difference between these foragers here, the weapon combinations, to the ones over here that you get with the, that you craft yourself. You can sell the crafted ones, you can't sell the equipment, the combining ones. The combining ones you can use the one that you had from the last level to help make the new one, where the other one you have to make the new one all by yourself. So you can make the 40 stuff and then that will help you make the 50 stuff because you can use it instead of a silver stone and it costs a little bit less mats. So it's really up to you on which way you want to do it. There's pros and cons of each side. And I don't know. I did a mixture of both. You can also get yellow gear from drops in the expert dungeons. For the 40, that's the shrine. I think 50 is Grand Bulwark. I'm not really sure. I haven't really messed with the 50 dungeons all that much. And it's the same stuff as the stuff that you get the mats for. So if you manage to get yellow gear dropping from there that you need more power to you, it's faster for you to level up, for you to gear up. But yeah, I'll do another video on like all the refining stuff and how what, exactly to get all the mats for the 49 stuff. I can't do one on the 59 stuff just yet. That will have to wait till open beta. But I can do a 49 one. And yeah, that's about it.